now at 5.30, police opening fire, leaving a man dead. If I know they were going to kill my child, I would have never have called them and asked them to come and help me. Tonight, a family demanding answers after this killer confrontation. A mother calling police, asking them to help her son. She could have never predicted what would happen next. Seven's Lorena Estrada is live in Miami Gardens at the scene of this tragic shooting. Lorena? Well, Lynn, Mike, this family is still waiting to learn the details of this deadly confrontation. I can tell you Miami Gardens Police is not releasing much information at this time now that a major investigation is underway. But when we spoke to the family, they tell us that they strongly believe this could have been prevented. I had 25 years of my son's life. Now I don't have nothing. And I know because I just asked him for help. Help was all this mother wanted from police. Help to get her mentally ill son, 25-year-old Laval Hall, to calm down and return home. But when two officers responded to the home on Northwest 191st Street and 3rd Avenue, the confrontation turned deadly. Police say Hall did not cooperate and engaged in a physical altercation with police using an object, forcing police to shoot him. All of a sudden you ran it out to him, you know he don't have a gun. He had a broom, a red broom with straws. That's what this woman says she saw when she heard the commotion from inside her home. Get on the ground, get on the ground. And then shortly after that I hear, boom, I mean, pow, pow, pow. A day after the incident, Hall's mother is still waiting for answers. Mainly, why couldn't police handle this differently? Why did they kill him? If they didn't know what they were doing, they should have shot someone that knew what they were doing against them kind of people. Miami Gardens Police has now launched an investigation into the shooting, one they say will be transparent and thorough. The department released a statement Sunday that reads in part, The loss of any life is tragic and understandably difficult. We're investigating the incident and will provide an additional statement as more facts become available. Catherine Daniels knows she can't get her son back, but she says she can and she will fight for justice. I'm gonna get me some justice for taking my child's life. Well, police tell us that one of the two officers that responded to the scene early yesterday morning was injured and taken to the hospital. We're still waiting to hear police to hear from police about his status. But as for Hall's family, they tell us that they plan to have a candlelight vigil in his memory tonight at 7. We're live in Miami Gardens. Lorena Estrada, 7 News.